Brittany, elsewhere tonight, as we first told you on air and online this afternoon, Governor Robert Bentley hopes his new gaming council will find solutions to gambling in Alabama. Everything's apparently on the table, including a compact with the Ports Creek Indians. CBS 42 News reporter Michael Oder in the state capitol tonight live for us. All right, Michael, break this down for us. Yeah, right now, Governor Bentley is saying that the issue of gaming in the state of Alabama needs to be cited once and for all. And he's hoping that this new council will give some concrete recommendations to lawmakers on how best to move forward. Governor Bentley signed an executive order Monday creating the Alabama Advisory Council on Gaming. His hopes are that this group will examine gaming in the state and create recommendations for state lawmakers. I want the recommendations to be uh, some concrete recommendations. Uh, from this council. I, I don't want it to be uh, just a study group. The council will present their findings by January 31st of next year. That way, if there's any legislation recommended, it can be brought up in the regular session in February. Now, I don't know what the recommendations of this committee will be, but I do believe that the people of Alabama have the right to be a part of this solution. Now, what does that mean? That means that there has to be something put before the people of this state so that they can vote on it. The council will look at state and local gaming laws, including the counties where electronic bingo is legal. Bentley hopes the council will clear up some confusion. It's such a, as I say, a quilt work of constitutional amendments, local constitutional amendments around the state. So it's a very confusing issue that is not being resolved. Uh, and it, it will not be resolved, uh, and as I say, unless we come up with a comprehensive plan and let the people participate in that. Now, that council will be made up of 11 people appointed. The governor gets seven appointees. Senate Pro Tem Del Marsh gets two, and Speaker of the House Mac McCutcheon gets the final two. Those appointments will be made public in the near future. Live in Montgomery tonight, Michael Loder, CBS 42 News.